That's an out, Pluto. That's an out. Fuck all the cars, I'm right on their ass, we tryna get cash, ayy yeah. Gonna roll up a guard, I ride in the traffic, we doin' the dash, ayy yeah. yeah. We got them on cleanup, don't touch a procedure, we gettin' it fast, ayy yeah. yeah. We tryna break even and do it with reason, just don't wanna crash, ayy yeah. yeah. Pull up, we light up that perk, see the hard work on my shirt Sweatin' his eyes, let's be the vibe, baby just tryna get word All you be smellin' this gas, yeah. Yo, what's going on everybody? We are back with another video. Hope y'all been enjoying these uh, investing videos. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at my portfolio. And in this series, we're going to be examining. We're going to be examining every stock that I'm investing in currently. I'm um, probably going to go into details of why I'm investing in things like that. So let me go and put y'all on the screen. And let's just go and jump right into it. So let's do this. Three two one let's go it's been a minute since i did this so i don't really like that we're gonna do this again we're gonna do this again three two one let's go okay let's make sure that's recording got the red dot up there we got the red dot so let's go to where you at where you at we it, we it, we it. It was at the bottom right hand corner. Okay, now let's look at all the stocks that we've been investing in. So, all the stocks that we've been investing in, let's go to my positions. These are all the stocks that I'm investing in currently. So, as we look at the stock market today, you can see do we show how many stocks I'm in right now? Nah, here we go. Here's my portfolio. Here we go. Now we can see what my portfolio is. So I have a total of $434.97 invested in the stock market. Uh, the stock market is closed, so I'm down $22.76, which is just under 5%. So that's real good. I'm down only 5%. Uh, my market value is a total of $476.52. Okay. And so my cash value, my cash balance is $41.55 only because I invested my 6%, which is $50 every time I get paid. So let me see anything incoming funds. That's what's going to be payable. Okay. That's it. Uh, interest income I don't think I have any dividend stock so that's gonna be kind of dope to get into my interest income that's something new I ain't never seen that uh, stock lending income interest income is the interest you have earned and received from the stock lending income program by lending out stocks held in your account oh that's dope that's real dope I did not know that fees and others Okay, I guess that's just fees to trade. So the stocks that I'm in right now is OV, OVID is a ticket symbol. You have uh, Aptos, APTO, which is killing right now. Uh, got 13 shares in that. INUV, got 30 shares in that. I just picked up some new, some more shares in that. Uh, it's down $1.16. Uh, Sundale Growers Inc., which is a cannabis company, SNDL. I got 20 shares in that. Uh, it's down $2.30. What's this? Got Solo, which is Electric Mama Manica Vehicles Corporation. Got some stocks in that. Uh, GTT, AGEN, SLGD. Going based off of that. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to OV. ID. We're gonna start from the bottom, and then we're gonna work our way from the top. And let's get into our first stock. So OVID. Let's look at what it's looking like on the stock market. Uh, so let's put that symbol in. OVID. Now, okay. So the daily is $3.86. Oh, something else I just learned. Something else I just learned. Let me see if I can delete that. 
delete all these ads. Okay, something else I just learned on the overlays. I wanna see what it look like on this 72 moving average. Uh, simple moving averages, exponential. We're gonna do 72. We're gonna update that. So, if you know anything about the money cycle, it moves in stages and different things like that. So it's look like my 72 is $3.11. But my long time value, it normally ranges by $5.07. Um, right now it's down, <clears throat> which is good. I really love that it's coming back down. It's probably about to try to get closer to this 50 day moving average or this 72 moving average, which is which is fine. I and mean, we ain't worried about that at all. We just gonna let that continue to do what it gotta do. It's just underneath right now. But as it climb up, it just lets you know that we're it's uh, still undervalued. Uh, once it reach over five dollars and seventy cent, five dollars and seventy cent. That's how you know you're gonna start seeing a lot of profits. Uh, so right now on a MACD, it's high right now. So it's about to cross over. So that means it might go through another phase where it might get underneath three dollars again. So we're gonna see. Uh, how many shares we got in this? OVID, we got three dollars. We is up a whole dollar and six cent. And this how you going to be? This is how I'm going to determine if I should just sell. And since I'm up, I'm up. But I'm not looking to sell. And this is why we about to learn what. Uh, that's that's not open right now. What? Now we're just gonna do this. OVID. We're gonna just learn about the company. Let's see. This is through Yahoo Finances. This is how you do your research on a uh, on a stock before you invest in different things like that. Do 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 do. Alrighty. So this pretty much tells you everything about the statistical side of the stock. But let's go into the the company outlook. No, that ain't what we want. Statistic profile options. See conversations, statistics. Okay, the market count as far as this year, it went back down uh, as of what is that? Eight, nine, September thirtieth, twenty twenty. They grew. And it looked like uh, 2019, they had a huge market cap of 227 million. They got cut down in March through what was going on through the pandemic. Then it grew again once it started opening back up. Uh, September, they just cut down on a little bit. So it's like, they kind of growing and they backtrack uh, their profit margin. Nothing physical year, quarter year gross profit. They revenue, the income statement. So they bring in about 12.62 million, which is good. Flow, dividend, no dividends right now. They bring in about $72 million worth of cash. Their cash flow is not that good. They are they're always in the hole in their cash flow. But I believe this is a company that just started. Uh, I, I, this is, mm, let me just look at the historical data. Let's just go to when they first opened up. So they opened up in 2017. So they, they still been here for quite some time. 
But you gotta remember, through all of this, a lot of things, people gonna be needing the health, the health field or the pharmaceutical field. This is why I pretty much invest in the things that I'm investing in. Cause it's pretty much seeing for the long term. And this is why I'm gonna invest in it. I'm gonna keep this stock for 10 years. So it's based out of New York, biotech, uh, is in the healthcare sector. You have different doctors and different things like that. Mm. It's located right there in New York. Here's a description. And if you want to read more about it, I'm gonna put that in the description down below. But this is basically just showing you, and we just clicking through and reading out different things of how this company operate. Something I want to just get back, get into just, uh, Pretty much just analyzing, analyzing different things. Let's look at the analysts. And it's just something just to give me, um, let me see, what can I say? Give me, give me an opportunity to be self-aware of, or dive deep into the stocks that I'm investing. Even though I do my research by just stock charts but I don't really dive deep into what I'm investing because I know that it's dealing with pharmaceutical. I'm just dealing with the things that's in the future. I'm gonna just say that. The prices are low. Uh, all these companies that I'm looking at, they gonna break, they, they gonna make they, they $10, $50. They gonna reach that because pharmaceutical companies normally reach that. All you gotta do is just keep holding on. You see, that they 200 moving day average is five dollars. So from three dollars and eleven cent, load up on three dollars and eleven cent, and then hold it to them when you get five dollars and five cent. So there's those are things like that. So what I need to do. I just keep it basic. We're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna add a new sheet. So we're gonna call this my stock. We will stop. Okay, so we have money sign OVID. We're gonna put uh seventy two MA. We're gonna do two hundred MA. And the 72 moving average is uh, 3 dollars and 11 cent and my 200 moving day average is 5 dollars and 5 cent okay those are those are where my stocks is at currently let me see if I can oh you just do that uh, so this is what this is what we gonna also include. Those are my moving averages. Uh, let's do uh, current position. We're gonna do current position, which is, when did I get in that stock? I got in about 12, about 12 at 3,080, at 81.9 a share. Then I bought five at 3,042 a share. And overall, My average price is three dollars and seven seventy cent. I don't know why I try to add that thousands. Uh, tenth hundred. Yeah, I don't know why I try to add that thousands. Uh, I sold seven. Uh, 
Oh, I remember why I sold seven. Yeah, I sold seven to cut back to buy other shares. Okay, so I have a total of 10. Yes. Yes, what was up? Uh, so right now we have we are still up under but we close to three dollars and eleven cents than you than you would think so right now what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do we're gonna do so we only give you my average so we're gonna go based off my average which is 3.7 so current position Gonna do three dollars and seventy cent. Uh, average, and then we're gonna do hold for. Now, what is the projecting overall? This is when you use other platforms. So we're gonna use uh, tip rate. Tip ranks, my bad. You're gonna use tip ranks to get into what stock, what is the projection. So let's go here. And we're gonna do OVID. So it's projecting that it's gonna be $5.67. Uh, let me see. It's going to be five dollars and okay. The average price of this stock is five dollars and sixty-seven cents. It has a high forecast to reach seven dollars, on a low forecast to reach five dollars. But the average price target represents a forty-six point eight nine increase from the last price of $3.86 and that means is it can either go as high as $5 or go to $7 but on average $5.67 so you can either hold by the high hold by the average or hold by the low it all depends on how you want to make your money and and if you got a certain price point certain percentage Hold those stocks for that. Me, personally, I'm going to go for the all-time high because once you see a stock reaches all-time high, you can cash in there or you can just wait. But since I'm going to be investing in long-term, uh, we're going to hold for $7. I'm not going to be expecting to make no money for the stock market probably in the next five years. That's how heavy that I want to invest in the stock market. That's so that's what I'm just looking at. So we're gonna hold for seven dollars or better. So with this stock, uh, let's put a line through this. Uh, let's see how can we do this? Sell action. Uh, plus, we're going to do, we learning something together for sure, because I don't even know how that works. Mm. Filter, add column, filter, categories. Nope. Sort. Nope. Add filter. Nope. What's this? Nope. Ooh, let's see. Cut. 
Here we go. Sale. Format. Arrange. Sale. Sale border. Underline. Color. We are going to put green. Go back. We're going to make this line like that. Uh, going to increase that line so we can separate all stocks. Okay, there we go. So we got we got this stock. The seven dollars, the seventy-two moving average. When it reaches three dollars and eleven cent, put a lot of shares in there. Once it reaches five dollars and five cent, you can sell some or you can just hold for better. My current position is three dollars and seventy cent, and we're gonna hold for seven dollars or better. So in this video, this is how I'm going to be uh, breaking down all my stocks that I'm investing in right now. And uh, if you like this, make sure you like this video because uh, I will be investing more. This is what I'm going to be doing for the next five years. It took me a while to find it, though. It took me a while to find it. Um, like, I was going to stick with uh, Cash Out, but the reason why I'm not sticking with Cash Out is because it, limit, it limits me on certain stocks. So anybody that's not tech savvy, I'm going to suggest uh, on uh is this shirt too little or am I just growing out of this shirt? It look like I'm growing out of this shirt. That's what it looks like. I think it's just, I'm just too little. But my bad. Um, is this become tech savvy and different things like that. Uh, if you have an Android, I'm going to suggest please get an iPhone. Uh, them Androids, it's, it's making it hard for y'all. A lot, majority of the people is going with iPhones. FaceTime is, is a little bit better. Uh, this is not an ad though, but uh, I just wanna say thank y'all for watching and uh, thank y'all for going into the, the first video with me. Hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, I also do, uh, I go live every now and then on what stock should I invest in for my upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let me see.